When at war, fighter jets are considered as the deadliest asset any country can possess. Having a superior fighter jet can change the course of a war in no time, as we have seen historically multiple times. That's the reason countries are striving hard to make the most advanced fighter jets that are not only lethal, but also act as stealth machines as per need. Currently, the fifth generation fighter jet program is considered to be the best in the world, but there are only a handful of these jets. The major air forces in the world are now developing or looking to procure next generation fighter aircraft that will serve them for years to come, providing superiority in the air combat domain. With the emergence and increasing use of digital and innovative technologies, countries are looking for next level fighter jet capabilities. In this video, we are going to take a look at what some countries have come up with. Before we get started, if you do enjoy this video and would like to see more just like it, remember to give us a like and subscribe to our channel to get more sent straight to your notifications. At present, the definition of a sixth generation fighter jet is pretty vague. According to Wikipedia, it is a conceptualized class of jet fighter aircraft design more advanced than the fifth generation jet fighters that are currently in service and development. So what are the characteristics of fifth generation jet fighters? The key ones are stealth, sensors, and supercruise. Stealth technology helps the aircraft to avoid detection by reducing or reflecting radar emissions, infrared, visible light, radio frequency spectrum, and audio. The sensor suite includes advanced electronically scanned array radar and electro-optical sensors to detect adversaries at long distances. It also includes sensor fusion, merging data from a variety of sensors and presenting it to the pilot as useful information. Supercruise means the fighter can fly supersonic without afterburners, thus significantly conserving fuel and increasing its combat endurance. It's not surprising that the US, which produced the world's first two fifth-generation fighters, the Lockheed Martin F-22 and F-35 should be the first off the blocks with a sixth generation combat jet. However, nothing is known about the prototype or its first flight except that it was designed, developed, and tested in the space of a year. The FX, or Next Generation Air Dominance Fighter Jet, is planned to someday replace some of the United States Air Force's current repertoire of fighters. According to the U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory, the aircraft will have a sleek, stealthy design with a high-energy laser capable of cutting enemy aircraft in half. The future aircraft is expected to have longer range and larger payloads, as well as the ability to carry hypersonic weapons. The United States Air Force has not yet chosen the manufacturer for the sixth-generation fighter aircraft, and information about the capabilities of the FX is currently not available. But if the program progresses at a rapid pace through streamlined processes and the use of technology, the fighter jet could join the United States Air Force earlier than the planned 2030 timeline. Tempest is a next-generation combat air system with a future combat aircraft at its core. Launched by Britain in 2018, the Tempest fighter jet project is a trilateral cooperation between the UK, Italy, and Sweden. Team Tempest is delivering world firsts in advanced technical capabilities. The aircraft will deploy new, game-changing technology and is set to join the Royal Air Force fleet in 2035, replacing the Typhoon. The Ministry of Defense describes the Tempest as an aircraft, manned or unmanned, whose prime function is to conduct air-to-air -air and or air-to-surface combat operations in a hostile and or contested environment, whilst having the ability to concurrently conduct surveillance, reconnaissance, electronic warfare, and command and control tasks. By 2025, 2 billion pounds will have been spent developing the Tempest. The design of the aircraft shows delta wings and outward-pointing vertical stabilizers. The aircraft is also expected to feature artificial intelligence, deep learning, and increased network connectivity. Therefore, the Tempest will be jam-packed with sensors such as advanced radars and multi-spectral cameras, plus various data links and communications equipment. British manufacturer Rolls-Royce is working to develop the Tempest's engines. The company is using composite materials to create something lightweight and affordable 
with improved thermal management. The aircraft will feature two engines, which will be deeply embedded within the aircraft to reduce observability. Russia's new sixth generation aircraft, MiG-41, also known as PAC-DP, is a future interceptor that will be able to operate at extremely high altitudes and at speeds exceeding Mach 4. Since 2013, the Mikoyan Group has been busy developing the replacement or successor of the MiG-31. According to Russian defense experts, the aircraft will be fitted with turbo ramjet or ramjet engines to achieve the very high speeds. According to Mikoyan, the design of the MiG-41 was finalized in 2019. Its first test flight was in 2020, and if all goes to plan, it will be introduced to the Russian Air Force by 2028. The aircraft will carry many different types of advanced weapons, such as laser weapons, hypersonic missiles, anti-satellite missiles, and anti-missile lasers. Russia also plans to arm the MiG-41 with a different type of missile system, the Multifunctional Long-Range Interceptor Missile System. This advanced weapon will dispense several sub-missiles in order to increase the chances of intercepting and destroying enemy hypersonic weapons. Overall, it's safe to say that the MiG-41 will be a heavily armed interceptor. The FCAS is a proposed sixth-generation fighter system for nations in the European Union. A joint program between Germany, France, and Spain, the future combat air system will deliver a next-generation fighter which will operate as part of a manned, unmanned teaming formation with attack and surveillance drones, known as remote carriers. Key capabilities of the aircraft will include improved survivability with active and passive stealth features, and enhanced situational awareness through advanced avionics and sensor suites. The fighter jet will also provide greater maneuverability, speed, and range thanks to powerful engines and advanced flight control systems. The aircraft will be installed with novel effectors to ensure increased firepower, including standoff kinetic loads, directed energy weapons, and electronic warfare capabilities. The program began in 2017. Dassault Avionics and Airbus were announced as collaborators for the project in 2018. Saffron and MTU joined in 2019. The deadline for development of this aircraft was set for 2040, but the program is yet to enter research and development and risks falling behind schedule if participating companies cannot compromise on key work share allowances. Two of the three prime contractors, Airbus and Dassault, have as yet failed to reach a deal to launch research and development work, so we could be waiting a bit longer to see this particular jet. In January 2019, Dr. Wang Haifeng, chief designer of the Chengdu Aerospace Corporation, announced that China had begun pre-research on sixth-generation aircraft, and he predicted that the program would come to fruition by 2035. How far along Beijing is in its development of this aircraft is unknown, but according to recent media reports, the Shenyang aircraft the company that is believed to be building the aircraft announced that it is conducting research on thermal adaptation and integration of structure and function. The future aircraft, which some media reports have suggested could be the J-25 or J-28, will reportedly have the ability to command drones, utilize artificial intelligence to act as virtual co-pilot, and possess even higher stealth capability through aerodynamic design. Other new technologies, such as laser, adaptive engines, hypersonic weapons, and swarm warfare might also be integrated with the new aircraft. But for now, it is all very top secret, so it's a case of keep watching this space. In Japan, the Mitsubishi FX is in the early stages of development for the Japanese armed forces, and a first flight is targeted for 2030. In March 2018, a Japanese television feature revealed close-up footage of advanced high-thrust XF-91 turbofan engines and active electronically scanned arrayed radars under development for the F-3 program. The feature also revealed a projected program development cost of 5 trillion yen equivalent to nearly 45 billion US dollars, meaning the cost per plane could easily exceed earlier cited figures of 20 billion yen. The only certain thing about the F-3 
is that it will be a twin-engine fighter capable of mounting six internal weapons. Beyond that, highly contrasting concept sketches released by Japanese engineers indicate a final design is a long way from being selected. Although the FX does not have official specifications yet, some believe that it will be bigger than the F-22, may be built with X-2 capabilities, and perhaps even be able to be armed with more missiles than the F-35. It will also feature XF-91 engines. It is very difficult to predict exactly what is going to happen in the race for the 6th generation fighter jets, as problems can arise at any time. Plus, many countries keep a lot of details very close to their chest. It is also worth noting that while military technology, as with all technology, is on a constant march forward, that march has been accelerated by international and regional tensions. Which country do you think is going to be first off the mark? Are there any other feats of engineering you'd like to see us cover? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel to get our latest videos straight to your notifications. Thanks for watching.